Nuko Pamoja also explores a very interesting cluster of people. We call them the Ango people. They are the Jews. And that's how they used to call themselves. The Luo, Luonized them by adding Ngo onto them. And An or Ango means me. The Lango word comes from two cultures. One culture is Hebrew. We are actually the brothers of Israelites. When we trace the history of Lango, it goes way back up to Azum in the Middle East. When you say Lango for us, we know that it is implicating all those Maasai in Kenya and Tanzania, Lutuko, Bari, and their derivatives in southern Sudan. And then the Lango, Kumam, Teso, Karamajong, Torokana, uh, Toposa, uh, partly in Sudan, partly in Uganda, Dodos and Gie. The word Karamojong is a division of two words, Akar Mojong. Tired all elderly people. Karamojong love so, cows so, so much that even they have in their mind that they, it is a God given and it belongs to them by right. That is why they go to Tenso, they go to Ulango, they go to Acholi and take these cows. Many white people were killed. But now when these religious people went, missionaries, they started adapting the culture of the Karimujong. I remember the priest who was accepted so well was when he preached during Christmas. He told them Jesus Christ was a Karimojong. Why? Because he was born among cows like you people. <laughs> it is only the Bazungu we grab it. When Lango people reached Karamoja, then there was that separation where the, the, the Karamojong remained there. The, the, the Itesots proceeded. Those were the youth, and they didn't come back. The, the Karamojong said, no. They are going to die there. There is nothing there. There are only animals there. And the elders cast them. I test. I test is a name meaning grave. So that is how the name Ateso comes from. Mm -hmm.